everyone, welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking where I make videos on homemaking, cleaning, motivation and lifestyle. So in today's video I'm going to be doing an extreme clean with me. I've broken it down into two parts just because I was getting seriously exhausted. So this first part is going to be cleaning my kitchen and bathroom. So it's an intense clean, not just the things that you usually do on a daily basis but the stuff I like to do when I'm more deep cleaning and going into all the little crevices of my house so I hope this gives you loads of cleaning motivation and yeah let's just get started so first of all I am just writing out my hinge list so I'm writing out everything I need to do for the kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms and living room. So I like just to start out any serious cleaning day with this just because it keeps me on track and also at the end of it it's really nice to look back on and see everything that you've accomplished. So once I've wrote out all this list, we are then going straight on in to the kitchen and that is where I'm going to start. So before doing anything in my kitchen, I always like to make sure the dishes and the sink are done. I know it seems a little bit backward to do the sink first because then I use it for cleaning other things, but I just feel like I can't focus on anything else until the dishes and the sink are clean. It's like a weird thing that I've always done. So first of all, I'm just starting with putting all the previously clean dishes away. you, oh quiet. Once all the clean dishes are away, it's time to wash the new one. So I just clean using very liquid and a sponge. I do usually use a dishmatic, but I'd run out of dishmatic heads. So I had to just go back to being a peasant <laughs> and using a normal sponge. So this is pretty self-explanatory, just doing the dishes, nothing too glamorous here. Now on to cleaning my sink. So today I decided to use SIF to clean out my sink. Once all the sink is coated in sif and had a good scrub, I then rinse it out. I bought this tap attachment from Amazon and it turns into like a little shower and I absolutely love it. I bought it for my family as well and they are also loving it. I grow wings and tell goodbye. So once the sink is clean, it's then time for pretty much my favourite cleaning activity, which is cleaning my kitchen plug hole. Someone asked me about this in my last cleaning video about what it was I was doing and whether it works. So let me just tell you, it works and you feel like an amazing scientist. <laughs> so first I, you just put in some bicarbonate of soda. I then put a tiny bit of Zaflora in. That part is optional. I just like to do it because it makes my sink smell incredible. 
and then following with some white vinegar and it just reacts together and fizzes up and then goes down the sinkhole cleaning everything as it goes and leaving a really nice smell no need to explain and you're making me shake and shiver you're shining your shoes but hey so now it's time to dry and put the dishes away again another boring job but it has to be done as ready as i can be this time i'll be running free and then as soon as the dishes are put away and the side of my sink is clear it's now time to clear the sides of my sink and also my tap Now moving on to cleaning the surfaces, so at the moment I'm enjoying using the pink stuff spray, I've been using that recently for my surfaces but that is probably the cleaning product I change up the most just because I like to try out different scents and things like that, for some weird reason it keeps me motivated to clean when I'm trying out new products. I'm taking it step by step. I'm running and running I'm not slowing down just yet Now on to cleaning the toaster, so first of all I'm just taking out the trays at the bottom that collect all the seeds and I'm just going to throw all those seeds in the bin. I'm then going to give those trays a good clean and put them back in. Now it is time to clean the top of my toaster, so it had quite a lot of burn marks on it and it was just not in the best condition so I decided to use my scrub daddy combined with the pink stuff spray. Be really careful when spraying your toaster that you don't actually spray it directly on the toaster, you spray it on whatever you're going to use to clean just because you don't want cleaning products getting inside your toaster and then your bread will not taste the best. <laughs> so I'm just using that and it actually came up really really nice and sparkly and yeah that was just a really satisfying moment now moving on to the hob so I'm just using SIF again and I can't resist doing a little heart and then I'm just using the scrub daddy first of all cold so that it's hard and it's much better at getting all the tough stains out and things that have burnt onto the hob come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder then I rinse my scrub daddy with warm water so that it goes a little bit more loose and then I just go over it again. Then I just wipe all the sif away and finish it off with some white vinegar spray and my minky cloth which just helps things shine up really nicely. Stop the time. Now moving on to the microwave, so I'm just using the pink stuff and the scrub daddy again and just going over everything with that and then finishing off with a minky just to shine everything up. I was being next to you way back when we didn't care what they said people could stare I didn't give a damn cause all I needed was my friend way back Now moving on to the kettle so just spraying that down again and 
I don't always do this but I had a little look in and see if it needed lime scale removal. I very rarely have to do that because I live up north in the UK where the water is generally not as hard so we don't get as bad lime scale build up. But I just thought I would try out these descaler tablets. So you just put it in your kettle, let it fizz away and then boil it. Be really careful once you use this, you do have to boil your kettle a couple of times and rinse it out before you use it to make a cup of tea. Now I'm moving on to cleaning my oven. So when I do an intense oven clean, I like to use Oven Pride, but I only really use that maximum once a year, just because it is such an intense cleaner and I don't know the long-term effects of my oven of using that. So I like sometimes just to do a bit of a brief clean just to reduce the amount of time I have to use Oven Pride. Obviously it just means I can't get any of those tougher burns out, but I find just using a Scrub Daddy and the pink stuff followed by the Minky, again, just works perfectly. I'm used to give all I have. I'm used to get nothing back. I also like to unclip my tray and take it out and just give it a proper good clean on all sides. There's no one to blame. Sometimes I can understand how it can be so hard to stay out of pain But with you everything has changed Even though we both stay the same Would you call me on the midnight train? Would you come over when nothing's right? Next I'm just cleaning the oven trays with fairy liquid and a sponge and then I'll put them back in. Even as we're having a fight. So I'm just finishing off by cleaning the sides of the kitchen that I didn't do originally and just making sure everything is in its rightful place and any marks from the walls and things like that are removed. And then onto the floor in the kitchen, I'm just giving it a quick hoover just to pick up any bits that I throw on the floor as I'm cleaning the sides. Does anyone else do that? Sometimes I just throw all the crumbs and everything onto the floor because I know I'm going to hoover it in a matter of minutes. And then once I've done the hoovering, I'm just filling up a nice warm bucket of fairy liquid and water to mop my floors. I did used to use the flora, but I don't like using this because I've heard loads of stories of pets and the flora and how it's really not good for them. So whenever I use the flora now, I make sure it's nowhere near where Murphy can get. And that is all the kitchen done. So we're just gonna tick off the list and just feel really proud of myself that I got all that done.
now it is time to move on to the bathroom. So as you can see, the bathroom was just not at its most cleanest. So the first thing I want to do is do what I call a bleach bath. So I take anything around the bathroom that is just looking a bit worse for wear. As you can see, this plug was seriously disgusting. I'm so embarrassed about that. But I just took all my plugs out and also the headrest that I use for my bath. I put it in a bowl fill it with bleach and then boiling water and it just cleans everything perfectly it removes any mold and mildew and just gives it a really good clean so fast went from so lonely to falling asleep in your arms i used to be Next I'm just picking up any dirty towels and bath mats and I will put out fresh ones at the end of the day. But now I don't care Cause you took my scars Bruises and broken Going on to cleaning my toilet. I know loads of people joke about cleaning the toilets and how you don't want to be stuck at home cleaning your toilet all day and things like that, but I genuinely love cleaning my toilet. I just find it so relaxing. I don't know what it is. So first of all, I just go over with some toilet paper. I then use a wipe. I try not to use wipes that much. The only place I just can't fathom using a cloth is the toilet. So I will use a wipe for that. My bitches don't wanna wash it away. I know sometimes I get too caught up in. And then I just use duck around the inside of my toilet and then just give it a scrub with the toilet brush and then I will put a little bit more in for good measure and just to keep it smelling amazing. Now moving on to cleaning my sink, again another cleaning activity that just gives me a lot of joy. I just love cleaning my sink. <laughs> so I just clean the sink using Viacal and a microfiber cloth. I just go over it and make sure all the hair and everything, pulls, beard hairs are removed and toothpaste and everything that you can imagine is removed. Once that's done, I'm just putting a little bit of bleach down the plug hole. I just do that every now and then just to keep it smelling fresh and it helps with any blockages and things like that. Show me how to heal Took my scars so now moving on to cleaning my bath, so again I just use a microfiber cloth and Viacal. I just work my way all around the bath and then once I've done that I'll give it a good rinse out with the shower head. So now I'm cleaning my taps. Again, I just use Viacal and I swap my cloth to the minky cloth. I like to use the minky on anything that is either glass or stainless steel just because it is so good at getting the shine. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair. Next for the cleaning job that is actually my least favourite which is cleaning the inside of my shower. I absolutely hate it and water always drops on me and my feet always get wet and it's just not an enjoyable experience but it's got to be done. So again just using Viacal and my microfiber cloth just getting in the shower and getting into all the crevices. No 
So now it's time to move on to my shower screen and to be honest at this point I was running out of energy. It had been a long day anyway in work and I had planned on doing a proper clean of my shower but I just reached the stage where I didn't have much energy so I decided to opt for the Astonish Daily Shower Shine which you just spray on and leave. This is great for the days where like today you're just running out of energy a little bit. I do like to use cloths and white vinegar sometimes to give it a really good shine but this is a really great alternative that you can use daily as well after your shower that just helps to keep your shower nice and fresh. So now I'm going to hoover my bathroom floor so first of all I just like to remove anything that is getting in the way on the bathroom floor so my scales and my storage unit then I'm just giving it a good hoover I know not everyone hoovers their bathroom floor but I just find it really useful to remove hair and dust build up before I then go in and mop So now going in to mop the bathroom floor, I don't always use the old fashioned mop head like this, sometimes I do but other times I like to either use a spray mop or something else I love to do is just get down on my hands and knees with a wipe and really deep clean every inch of the floor and it's honestly so satisfying how much you get up. So to finish off the bathroom I'm just pouring out my bleach bath and putting all the plugs back and putting my bath headrest back too. And now just taking everything off my bathroom list and that is going to conclude the end of today's ultimate extreme <laughs> clean with me and in a couple of days I will upload the second half of this where I do the bedrooms and the living room which was filmed the day after since I just reached the stage where your girl just needed a cup of tea and a relax. <laughs> so I really hope you have enjoyed this extreme clean with me if you would like to see more videos like this then please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one